Hello and welcome guys. Today I have got a very good news for all the Premier learners and to those who especially wants to migrate from MT to MX in order to understand how the translation happens and also if one has a very good understanding and empty messages and if they are confused on how to generate the equivalent MX message, especially from MT103 to PAX008 and from MT202 to cover to PAX009. So I have got news that I have created a tool after taking a good number of days and a lot of analysis, I have developed this tool for all the payment learners and especially who are working in the translation or movement or migration from MT to MX, so ISO migration. So for this, I'll just explain you the formalities. First, that is, it is only international rupees 5,000 and it does not need any license. So it remains for you forever, right? And uh, only for rupees in 5,000, it will stay with you forever. You don't need to up upgrade like any other tools which is available in the market. You just have to have this tool in your system and it works. So, so this, this includes the translation of the two important messages into MT2MX translation, that is MT103 to PAX008 equivalent, MT202 to cover to PAX009 equivalent. Now, in order to receive this tool, or if you are interested into the tool, then you can email us at swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com and on receiving email, our person will schedule the meeting via Zoom and will install in the system and will give demo on translator. So this is all after making the payment or after you receive the tool and, and starts working. Now let's understand how this tool works. Okay, now this is my tool. So this is Excel based tool. Now, all those fields which are available in a traditional MT103 messages are split into the cells and all those values have been given into the cells. For example, in MT103, you will have a lot of data is available. Right? So uh, I have just split those into the respective uh, uh, fields. And what you need to do is you need to fill those data as well by, by looking into the empty messages. And then what you need to do is uh, just click on export. Now, after clicking on export, I'll just give the path where I want to save it. I've given the name, given the name and I've given the path. And let me over here. I'll give it here. Okay. All done, man. So what you need to do is now you need to go back to your uh, path. And you see this has been saved now. What you need to do is you need to just open in a notepad XML, Excel and ensure that the language is XML. So now you can see the uh, MT103 has been translated into the respective MX message. And now you can see the respective tag elements in MX for that. For example, the sender, right? The sender is 
uh, from and to is uh, receiver in the direct payment scenarios, right? And same way, there are like different uh, uh, fields which are mapped uh, from empty fields to that of MX tags. And there are some of the tags uh, which are new in the MX and that is available in the uh, Excel sheet where you have to populate it. So if you see here, uh, there are some uh, uh, XML related tags which needs to be available and those are mandatory. That's why I mentioned as M. So those who, who, which is enabled with M, you need to populate it and then you can export it. Right. And those with uh, uh, yellowish color, these are traditional empty misses fields, as I mentioned here, tag 72 and all those tags under that. And then 59F over here, you know, under 59F uh, structure format, if you want to give it, and then you have to give, uh, you know, one by one data. So these data would be available in your empty messages. You just have to copy paste it over here and, and it will help you to analyze as well. And for your understanding, it is best to do it. Right. So not only that, this will also uh, help you to create this diagrammatical representation. So you see here, if I am, if I am, uh, if I want to translate the empty message, which is for the direct payment, that means there is a direct accounting relationship that, right? In that scenario, it will auto generate this diagram with the values, names, everything, so that you can understand the scenario diagrammatically as well. And you can also correspond to that of empty messages which you have handy so that you can see whether you had done any uh, mistake or not. So this will give a very good idea on your payment learning, especially from MP to MX uh, translation. And if you're walking into the project where you have to migrate from empty messages to the MX messages, so majorly these two messages are being used and this amount will cover these two messages translation. And yeah, that, that's all I have. And I'm looking for more payment loans to get this tool and utilize this tool for your learning as well as in your project. So thank you all and I'll see you next time.